Good morning, it's the 9th of March and we've got snow. It snowed overnight. It's sleety at the minute. It's meant to thaw out later, I think. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, just taking Mary to work through Swanley and apparently down that way in Kent it's quite bad, so we're leaving a little bit early. But look at this. Look at this on the door. Weird how snow settles, isn't it? Right, I'm getting in, it's freezing, catching a bit. Snowy, snowy, snow. This is what every Land Rover driver dreams of. But I haven't got that much here, but um, I've got to go out towards Swanley where Mary works at the nursery, so it's probably going to be quite bad out there as we go through the lanes. So, yeah, it is minus. Minus 1.7 at the minute, and minus two inside the car. Freezing! Hopefully it'll warm up soon. <laughs> yeah, it's a very cold day. Can't wait to get back, get the log burner on. Oh, make a hot drink. And make something nice and hot for dinner this evening. Might do a stew, not sure yet, but we shall see. <coughs> Yeah, very, very cold. Brr, brr day. Also got to get back, make sure the animals have got everything they need. Their water gets a bit slushy sometimes. So they're probably going to need fresh water. Top the food up as well. You didn't run up the top. You always gotta make sure you're through that gate and looking towards him. <coughs> oh, just set to chase the dog. He got out. Well, we have snow again. I'm in Swanley. Just snowing. Not heavily, but it is snowing. Can't remember the last time we had snow in March. I remember one year we had it, it was Mother's Day, so it was around the 21st of March and we had snow and uh, we went down to, oh, what was the name, I can't remember the name place in Kent, down by um, Deal. We went to look at some dogs, the lady had some uh, Akitas, the big Japanese Akitas. She was a rescue. <clears throat> but we decided they weren't for us because they were a little bit too big. Anyway, on the, on the way down it snowed. On the way back the radiator burst on the car. Um, yeah, so that was good. So I went in a farm shop, bought six eggs, put the eggs in, put water in, and it, it blocks the hole on the radiator all the way home. So it worked that, and that was a little trick my dad taught me years ago. He said, if you put eggs in your radiator, Obviously they whiz around the system and they get, well, they cook, but they stick to the sides of the radiator and they block the hole temporarily, so, yeah, it worked, it worked. Anyway, concentrate me driving. Yeah, the roads are clear themselves, just very, very snowy on the edges and slushy. Um, there is some ice about as well though, 
it is minus 0.8 at the minute it is stuck a winter wonderland on houses not as much snow as we had before Christmas though so a fair bit the more rural areas you go to the more snow they've got sleety rain here. I think it's on the higher levels where it's uh, really frozen up, still snowing hard over the Kent Downs. <coughs> oh, got a nice little bit of snow through here. Roads are sort of clear but slushy towards the edges. So if you've got to dip in and move across for a car, you have to be careful. Especially if you're only in two wheel drive car. Still, people should really check their tyre pressures regularly anyway, because that, that stops a lot of uh, problems on the roads. They don't seem to, though. Check mine weekly. Oil and water, I check every probably three days, sometimes more regular. If uh, I'm doing the job on the car, I'll give it a check while I'm there. Well, this sort of weather, you just have to drive to the conditions, you know, no matter what car you got. I mean, this is four wheel drive, but I'm not driving like a complete idiot. Just because it grips, it doesn't mean you, you know drive like an idiot because even though it can grip you've still got to uh, be able to stop haven't you and it don't stop any quicker than the normal car people seem to think that oh it's four wheel drive it'll do anything go anywhere no it won't it'll get you moving when the road is slippy and the conditions are bad whereas a two wheel drive you could get stuck but braking is exactly the same it doesn't brake any different some people think it does. That's all right, that'll do, mate. That'll do. There we go. One way each, one went through. Perfect. Llamas aren't out in the field today. There's normally llamas in the field on the left. Well, nice and warm in here, anyway. I've noticed the temperature still not quite getting up to the proper temperature, so thermostat change soon. So thermostat does several things. One, it gives you a nice heater. The heat comes through quicker when it's cold. And also, your engine temperature. The quicker your engine gets up to temperature, less fuel you use. Because obviously if the engine, the um, computer's telling the engine that it's cold, it's going to put more fuel through, which burns more rich, which uses more fuel, which costs you more money. The quicker your engine gets up to temperature, the cheaper it is. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get much more snow today. It's very, very sort of sleety through here. There is a warning through up until tomorrow. Ah, the mouse situation. Caught a mouse. <clears throat> I went to bed last night. There was a mouse call. Got rid of him. Thought that was it. Got woken up in the night by a commotion under the bed again. Another mouse. So we've got more than one. And a bloke standing in the road in a high vis jacket. Looking at horses. He's maybe picking rubbish up on the verge. We'll get on the verge, please. I know he's in high vis, but Christ. Bit of a dangerous place to stand, sir. It's quite clear down this road. Now the gritters have been out all night and this morning. Because <coughs> it's still only minus 0 0.8. It's a nice 22.5 in here though, which is nice. A bit of a shock when you get outside though. 
they do a good job, the gritters, on the main roads. Although I disagree with gritting myself. I think they should just educate people to drive better. I know some places do need to grit because obviously hills and things like that, well they're the only places that they used to grit. Now they grit all these big main roads and I think to myself, just teach people to be more aware, drive to the conditions, teach it in when they're learning to drive. You know, to learn to drive on ice and snow. And the best way to learn to drive on ice and snow if you've never driven on it is wait for it to snow and get out there on it. That's what I did. I passed my test at 17. Every time it snowed I was out in the car. Even in two wheel drive, and that was rear wheel drive back in the day. Just get out there, learn how it, the car handles on the snow. If you're skidding, turn into the skids, take it easy. Start off in second gear. Lower your tyre pressures if it's really, really snowy. Which gives you more of a grip. Yeah. Common sense stuff, a lot of it. And obviously, take a survival kit with you. I've got a hot flask of coffee with me today, just in case. I have also got blankets in the back. I've also got a shovel. And it's not, the weather isn't that bad today, but expect the unexpected. You never know. It might turn all of a sudden, the weather might go boom, and it might just drop a load of snow on us. You don't know. I know it's not forecast, but you just don't know with the weather. It's unpredictable. It is Mother Nature. But prepare yourself, even water you need, you know, cold water in the car, and some snacks. I've got some crisps and I've got some Mars bars, so if I did get stranded or stuck anywhere, I'm okay. Make sure you've got a phone charger cable with you as well, so you can charge your phone. Make sure you've got credit or airtime, you know, so you can ring if you need to, you know, if you get stuck or you're stranded somewhere. If you've got a signal, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah. Simple stuff like that. And like I say, maintain your vehicle, check your tyres, check your oil, check your water. Make sure your screen's clean as well, and clear of snow. And your bonnet, and your roof if it's really heavy snow, because it blows onto other cars and it can all of a sudden just come flying off, hit a car, and then they're blind, they can't see. You know, a bit of courtesy for other road users as well. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm not far off home now, probably about five minutes away. So uh, I will catch you all later. It's just a quick, snowy, drivey video for today in uh, Winter Wonderland, Kent. I will catch you all soon. Please like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Thank you for everyone that does watch my videos and uh, drops a comment. I do appreciate everyone. I've got a massively big channel. But 223 subscribers now which is nice I think I started two years ago June because I had to restart my channel because for some reason my channel just disappeared off YouTube one night and I've never been able to get it back um, yeah started two years ago June with no one and I've now got 223 and it's climbing a couple every week so that's good glad I'm excuse my language BMW flying through there wasn't giving way to me. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm waffling. Catch you all later.